Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss sketch the graph and state the domain of the function. So given the situation is a third or square root, by referring to e, the fx is square root of x minus 2. So now we are going to discuss how to sketch the graph. Step number one, find the domain. So for these cases, square root x, the x will be greater and equals to 0. So for this case, square root of x minus 2, meaning that x minus 2 will be greater and equals to 0. So x will be greater and equals to 2. So the domain will be 2 until infinity. Step number 2 by referring to the domain. So the domain is from 2 until infinity. So the starting point will be 2. Step number 3, refer to the graph. Since the starting point is 2, so the location will be around here. 1, 2. If we substitute the value 2 into the function, what will be the answer? or the value of y. So the value of y will be equals to 0. So when x equals to 2, y will be equals to 0. So this will be our starting point. So this is the starting point. Step number 4, the direction. If the situation for square root x minus 2 we're going to refer the x. If the coefficient is a positive, so the direction of the graph will be to the right. If the situation is negative, then the direction will be towards the left. So I repeat, if it's a positive, the situation will be to the right. If it's a negative, then the situation will be towards the left. So for this case, square root of x minus 2, the situation will be to the right. So this will be our graph looks like. So by referring to the graph, so now we have to determine the range. So for this situation, range meaning that the value of y. So the minimum value for y will be 0. And the maximum value for y will be positive infinity. So for this case, the range will be equals to 0 until positive infinity. Here we have an example for f. Given that the function is square root of 2x minus 1. So again, repeat the situation. As we all know, the square root of x, the x will be greater than or equal to 0. So for this situation, square root of 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 will be greater than or equal to 0. So finally, x will be greater than or equal to 1 over 2. And the domain will be 1 over 2 until positive infinity. Step number 2. Refer to the domain for the starting point. Since the domain is 1 over 2 until infinity, so meaning that the value of x will be equal to 1 over 2. If I substitute the value into the equation, what is the value of y? The value of y will be equal to 0. So meaning that my starting point will be 1 over 2, 0. Step number 3, by referring to the graph. So as we all know, this will be the 1. So 1 over 2, the location will be around here. So 1 over 2, 0. So this is our starting point. Step number 4, referring to the equation to determine the direction. If the coefficient of the x is positive, 
then the graph will be towards the right. If the coefficient for the x is negative, then your graph will be towards the left. So for this situation, our x is a positive 2. So our diagram will be towards the right. And the situation will be something like this. So y is equal to square root of 2x minus 1. Stage number 5. We have to determine the range. By referring to the value y, the domain will be zero until positive infinity because by referring to the graph the minimum value for y is zero and the maximum value is a positive infinity so here we are and thanks for watching